This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're down here in Finchley at Pug Boxing Gym. Uh, with me is a man who's going to be out hopefully soon, uh, kind of mid-end of the year. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, Tom, when are you going to be out next? Hopefully you're looking at September on a good win bill, but just with COVID and everything, we don't really know with small hall uh, fights and that, but I'm ready, ready whenever, man. If I, if I get another big show or anything, mm. then I'll be ready within a couple of weeks. So how long have you been out the ring for? Yeah, God, 2019, November. So, yeah, so I was supposed to fight on March, the week that we went into lockdown. So, nightmare. But I've been training all the way through. I've got my weight right down, like acting like a professional. I think some people, it's been an excuse to just not train or anything. But I've stayed on it, worked my weaknesses and ready to go again. How have you coped during that time? Was it frustrating time? Obviously, you see, sound like you're in a good place right now. You're, you're on weight, etc., and you're, you're training uh, constantly. But was that a frustrating time? Yeah, of course it was frustrating because I saw an Eddie Hearn interview and it was like, everyone stay ready because he was doing his fight in the garden. And I was ready. I was tagging him in on everything. Tony was getting on him. Goodwin was getting on him. Um, but obviously, like I just it, it just didn't happen. But like I said, I still think... Um, that small hall fighters have got a big opportunity with the bigger promoters. So I'm going to stay ready for whenever. I want to get, hopefully want to get an eliminator for the sub Nero by the end of the year, then get onto that, win that in the new year, then see where we go. Okay. So you're ready to go into a final eliminator for the sub Nero yeah, straight away? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I think um, if we have a fight before, that's cool. While they sort out all the mandatories and everything, I don't mind that. I just want to get back in the ring and start smashing people up again. Sounds like a plan. Uh, yeah, and then, you know, if you, if that goes to plan and you bag a, a title, a regional title, then you never know, offers could come in for a, for a big fight on, on a matchroom or a Warren card and, and then, you know, th then there's your shot to the big time. Yeah, 100%. It kicks off from there, but that's all about acting professional and staying ready. Like, I, I, I really think everything happens for a reason and obviously in COVID, weren't the best um, scenario for boxers all around the country, all around the world. But I stayed ready, I was training, I had my rest when I needed to have my rest, and I'm just ready to go again. Do you believe that, uh, or is something telling you inside that this year and next year perhaps could be kind of the breakout kind of moment for you? Yeah, 100%. I'm going to win Southern Area, whatever happens, and then obviously opportunities will come from then. So, like, if I win it, I'm going on, I'm going on for bigger and better things. All right. Well, uh, yeah, hopefully that is the case. Um, but yeah, Training wise, I'm saying, you know, you're saying September, etc. But are you like down here constantly, like throughout the week and, and kind of living the life, etc.? Yeah, yeah. So at the moment, um, because there's no fights planned, we're down here three times a week, okay. sometimes four. But um, I train back home, uh, Elite Fitness um, Academy, No Mercy Boxing Gym, back in Hitchin, which has got wicked facilities anyway. So I'm here and there. I'm always training, whether it's with Tony or without him. I can. It's about having that professionalism, um, doing your own stuff as well, doing your boxing, doing your drills, doing your runs. So I'm, like I said, I'm just ready. I'm ready for the big time, mate. I guess that kind of eliminates the inactivity, not as a whole, because there's nothing like being under them lights on the night. But if you're, even if you haven't got a date penciled in for the near future, if you're still ticking over, it will get rid of that inactivity for a bit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm still getting sparring in here. And sparring's been wicked down there because we've got so many different fighters, so many different types of styles. Um, I was getting um, Super Yusuf ready for his fight. I was one of his main sparring partners. So it's all good, man. Like, there's some people you'd think would pay to come down here and watch the sparring because all the fighters all pent up aggression and, and getting in all the, all the, stuff, all the fighting but they've, which I haven't had. Mm. Okay, listen, uh, keep staying ready and uh, hopefully that opportunity presents uh, itself for you. It might do uh, quicker than you think, but if not, uh, yeah, best of luck for when you're out in September and uh, yeah, appreciate your time. No, thank you very much. I'd like to say uh, thank you for all my sponsors for staying with me over all this time in COVID as well. So thank you very much.